Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this first trade will be on the short side. Uh, now, as we look at a one minute time frame, uh, we have this green dotted horizontal line over here, representing the highest expansion point of this 20 some point range. Uh, moving on to this sideways channel down here, uh, we have price seesawing for a while uh, in this narrow range around New York midnight, price then uh, blows right through this upper trend line and keeps trending higher as it takes out the previous day's high at the 41.70 level. And now, uh, when you observe the price action, uh, the tendency uh, would be to go long given the market strength uh, direction as well as the 41.70 breakout event uh, right over here. Uh, that said though, uh, when you find yourself under a trading scenario uh, where you sort of try to figure out the direction of a particular uh, key market level, I think that you should simply just uh, let uh, the time frames uh, do the talking as opposed to your uh, preconceived bias. And uh, to me, the price action uh, within the range that uh, we are analyzing suggests the downside. Now, uh, logically, the question would be why? Uh, well, uh, the decision to go for a counter trend uh, trade at this particular point in this trade uh, was reached by first uh, going into a 60 minute time frame and uh, observing a uh, price do a stop hunt, as well as a rebalancing of this imbalance right over here. Now, as we all know, uh, stop hunts are usually observed near range highs. In fact, and as you can see, uh, price went above the previous day's high. Uh, which is represented by this uh, white uh, dotted horizontal line in here. So uh, to make the long story short, uh, these important technical details uh, push me towards a short bias. Now the second factor, and as we switch here to a one minute time frame, the second factor is the market doing a pullback right over here in the opposite direction of the current trend. And this additional uh, technical dynamic uh, was another short uh, influencing factor for me. So my point is that my short bias uh, was strictly formed as a result of these uh, technical elements. Now, uh, moving Order on uh, to the last part of this trade, uh, after getting filled, the market kept repricing lower. It first uh, took out the established short-term lows at the 41.67 level and then proceeded to take my first partial out. I wasn't as lucky though on the second short cover as I got stopped out above the 41.65 level. Um, and you know, that's just perfectly fine when that happens, as you just have to take whatever uh, the market gives you, so uh, no complaints there. Having said that, uh, I'd like to point out Target that while built. it's useful to have uh, specific guidelines to follow when trading, uh, it's also important to be objective from an uh, analytical perspective and adapt to changing price action. Now, going short required me to like go against the trend uh, in this particular case, but again, by being impartial, uh, bias-wise and willing uh, to adapt, uh, I was then able to like uh, take advantage of an opportunity that I might have uh, otherwise missed. As a result, uh, it's important to always and always be aware of what's happening in the market and be willing uh, to adjust your approach as needed. By doing so, uh, you will be able uh, to be in a much better position uh, when it comes to, uh, to capitalizing on opportunities and uh, in the process, uh, achieve your goals uh, in the failed. long run. Now, on to the next trade. All right, uh, so this is another short entry on a one minute time frame. Now, as you can see, uh, we have the market here undergoing a 20 point sell off. Uh, it then breaks below pre market lows which is actually marked by this red dotted horizontal line. Uh, right over here, uh, we also have a uh, stop hunt expedition taking place around the 4148 area. Now, uh, once the 4146 short term low was in, uh, we then see this uh, reversal movement uh, by the market, uh, setting a bullish trend at increased volume. Now, uh, consequently, uh, the market does an aggressive repricing as showcased uh, by this spike uh, right over here, uh, pushing above these uh, swing highs and the 41.62 level. Moving to this area down here, uh, our range's relative equilibrium is at 41.56. Obviously, we are overbought and into these uh, imbalances. 
Uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to like uh, be shorting uh, the 16 point spike right above uh, the 41.62 level. Order filled. As you can see, after getting filled, the market began to trend lower and then accelerated. It's downturn, uh, taking out my first partial above the 41.54 level, whereas the second partial filled. was covered some three points lower. Uh, with this uh, trade done, uh, let's now move on to the next trade. Uh, this is the final trade uh, in a series of short ones in this video. Uh, I think that the technical approach on this particular short uh, should be rather simplistic in my view. And, and what I mean by that is that it's obvious by these double top formations right over here that the direction of price is already reflected on the one minute chart. Uh, also, as you can see, we have the mid 4158 uh, right over here proving to be a strong resistance area given these breakthrough rejections. Also, our range splitter, uh, which should be right around the 4150 level, shows price trading uh, under overbought conditions, uh, further reinforcing our bearish bias. Order submitted. The only concern though that I would have uh, if we were to enter the trade, apart obviously from uh, getting stopped out, the only concern that I would have uh, would be New York Midnight, uh, which as you can see uh, could act as support uh, in some capacity if the trade uh, were to retest uh, those levels. But again, apart from that, price progression uh, to the downside should be, in my view, respectable. Uh, if the just mentioned uh, support again, uh, gets assimilated. Now, as you can see, after getting filled, uh, we had a sell-off uh, with my first partial getting uh, taken out five points lower. Target filled. The second contract, on the other hand, uh, was rather irritating and range prone. Uh, it first chopped around uh, New York midnight before heading for my stop loss. I didn't get stopped out though, but uh, I came I came really close. Uh, now, uh, once the market makers uh, shake the tree, <laughs> trick was up though, we began to break lower uh, with price and as you can see, uh, dumping all the way down to my second partial, uh, which coincides uh, with pre-market lows. All right, and, uh, and that basically concludes uh, this last uh, trade. Uh, now, if you guys are still watching this video uh, this far into it, it means that you enjoy it, uh, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and uh, hit the like uh, button below. With that said, thanks for following and I hope to see you again on the next one.